Oh boy, here we go again. All right guys, so today I'm at the old Peter's Ice Cream Administration Center. This building was built in the early 1960s and it closed in 2016. So let's have a look around and see what's here. So we're in the foyer of the building at the moment, as you can see. There's a nice big staircase there and that, that looks like the front desk over there. So, but yep, just turn the light on. And there we go, there's a there's an interesting sign here. It says, Welcome to the swinging chair of passion. So so yeah, well I'll I'll show you this this swinging chair. You if you watched my last video, you you saw that there was a, a swinging chair in the last one. So look at this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> We've got another swinging chair. This one's made for passion. The other one was for something not as good. <laughs> so you'll have to watch that video to figure out what it is. So as I as I put in the thing, oh, this this is actually a voiceover because for some reason the sound just didn't work in this one. So so apologies if the um, the commentary is not as good as it normally is. Not that it's that good anyway. But anyway, let's continue looking around. So tons of chairs and stuff in here. So they obviously just left all the chairs behind. And there's actually plenty of stuff. Of, to look at in this one and it's a it's a pretty big place actually i should say this will be a two-parter as well there's the grumpy pumpkins behind the desk there having a look so yeah this is a display cabinet of some kind i don't know <laughs> it's not like that display the ice creams in there but oh, maybe some of the memorabilia was was there there's the front door bit of look around and there's a nice beautiful walkway Apparently this building is now heritage listed, so hopefully it'll get repurposed for something else in the near future. So that'll be good. So we're going to head upstairs first and look at the upstairs first. So this was a really cool little piece of um, memorabilia here. Looks like some sort of promotional material or something like that. So I really like that. That's really cool. I love seeing stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I had a I had a bad leg still at this one, so going up the stairs pretty slowly. Um, yeah, I tore my calf muscles, so but that doesn't stop me getting out and and exploring and stuff like that. So because I love doing it, so instead of the other instead of the others, so nothing stops us getting out and having a look around. So here we get here we go upstairs. So. I think we'll go to the left first, I think. And this, I believe this leads into, yeah, um, there's a whole just bunch of cubicles and stuff in here. So this would have been all the office where everyone was working in the offices. There's plenty to see too. They haven't just, like it's not, as you can see, it's not just gutted. There's actually plenty to see, which is really cool. Anything yeah. you can see over there, there's plenty of stuff. There's some offices over there where maybe some of the more important folk <laughs> had their own offices and stuff. Just keep walking along, there's another office. So this is pretty, like Peter's in Australia is like, they're, they're a big company. I believe they got bought out by Nestle at some point, so. Yeah, let's keep wandering around. So you can just imagine everyone walking there. Like I think I mentioned it in uh, my last videos that I I just couldn't work in an office like that. I just having just sitting in a cubicle all day. <laughs> I think I made that. I think I made that comment during during the walk when we were actually here doing it. So, but as you can see, it's a massive place, and and I just love that there's all just stuff still everywhere. It's like it's like they more or less just up and left, and like I said, it was closed in 2016. So it's been sitting like this for what seven years almost, which is which seems crazy to me. It's crazy that they would just leave it like this. And honestly, like it's not in great shape, but you know, for the most part, you know, everything's still um more or less in one piece, apart from that. <laughs> But yeah, I, was, I think at this part, I, I thought I heard something and I was a bit worried there might be might be somebody here, but we didn't see anybody in this, in this part of it anyway, so. 
That's in there. There's a there's a cabinet there. And we'll have a look inside. See what's in it. Nope, nothing in there. Nothing in that one either. No, no mind. You just never know. You got to check these things. Have a bit of a look. Keep walking along. Yeah. I think this leads out into um, the bathroom area and stuff like that. A little cupboard, little cupboard there. I think there was a really cool room here coming up. I think, if I remember correctly. Oh no, no, not yet. It's really weird doing a voiceover, so <laughs> I do apologise if the commentary is not very, not very stimulating this time around. But I have no idea why the the sound didn't work. This was the first place we went to, and when I got home, I thought and realised that there was no sound. I thought to myself, "Oh no, I hope the sound hasn't gone on all of them." But it was just this one. So, paint can. It actually smelled a bit of paint here, so. Probably not too long ago, there was somebody in there having a having a bit of a paint. We've actually caught a few people painting lately. Like in my last video, there was a young fellow there at the um, at the factory that we went to. Oh, there's the stairs back down down to the ground level. I think this um, this other room that we're going to go into in a second had something pretty interesting in it. I think this is the toilets, if I remember correctly. Oh, someone's propped the door open. Have a look inside. Oh, that would have been a bit of trouble. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, there's the bathrooms. Oh, they smashed all the sinks. Yeah, I don't know what it is with people in smashing sinks because, as you can see, the urinals and the toilets haven't been smashed, but they smashed all the sinks. So. Which is a bit strange, and then there's splattered paint everywhere. Oh well, they just <laughs> as I say that the, that one's totally mangled. But never mind. But yeah, there's the hand dryers. Yeah, head back outside again. Oh, that's good camera work. Good on you, Craig. Yeah, head back outside. I think in this other, in this next room, there was something really, really interesting. That we, I, I had no idea what it was. Oh, there's the stairs again. I'm not sure why I looked down there. But yeah, in this room, there's a big hole in the wall. As you can see there, it's a big hole, and there's an even bigger hole going up into there. I think I, I summer, uh, I made the hypothesis that maybe someone had crawled up in there to sleep, perhaps, because that. Yeah, because because that I reckon they might have climbed up onto that, and then into the into the hole maybe, because unless there was some sort of like ducting and stuff in there, but yeah, you know, look in there and there wasn't really anything in there that I could see, but maybe there was some ducting or something, but I really didn't know why there was, because there was that was the only room in this part of the facility that had the big hole in the wall, so it was a bit strange. Mm -hmm. Keep walking along. I think this was some more toilets. I think that was a, just a storage room of some description. I think then, then the female toilets were here, I think. Yep, more toilets. Here we go. You know, I was assuming those are the female ones because they, <laughs> they didn't have, they only had toilets in them so and, and they had some sanitary thingies there like all the paper towel all the toilet tissue and everything still there just left behind and during the pandemic people would have loved having that <laughs> anyway here we go again keep walking along This, I built this, yep, this takes us back out into the other one. I think we, I don't know, this, oh yeah, that would have been, I don't know, some sort of server thing or something. Don't really know much about that sort of stuff. Right, let's walk down past all these other, 
other um, glass offices here and have a bit of a look inside, see what's in there. So as I mentioned, this was this was a very big big place. So it'll be it'll be a two-parter. This will be the first part, and then I'll turn then I'll I'll put the next part up next week. Oh, look at all that stuff. All the all the coax and Cat5 and stuff. Not that that gets used very much anymore because everything's Wi-Fi. But I'm old enough to remember having to plug all that stuff in, put it into your router and your switch and everything. But everything's Wi-Fi nowadays. I think this is a good shot of out the back there. Yeah, that's the that's the other building there. And then there's a big walkway that you can walk down. That leads into the other part, which is which is really cool actually, because in this part, as you can see, like it's 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 beat up, but for the most part, it's not destroyed. The walls aren't in too bad a condition, and that there's not a ton of graffiti on the on um, when we go to the the one next week. The place that place is wrecked, but there's some really cool stuff over there. So you'll definitely want to watch part two as well. Because, yeah, that's where we find all the, the computers and everything. So, as, you know, as much as this is awesome, because, you know, I just love every, everything about it. The other, um, the other building had a different aesthetic to it, let's just put it that way. Which I think you're going to enjoy. So, yeah, these rooms are pretty much, pretty much cookie-cutter rooms. And a couple of offices... I think there was a no, one more office here. No, this is just some nice corner offices. Look at those desks. I would love one of those desks. I keep I keep saying it every time I see one of those desks. I'm just like, man, I wish I had. like I got a nice corner desk, but yeah, look at the size of them. They're massive, massive big desks. All right, I think that was everything in this wing. I think. Oh no, no, still got a little bit more. Oh, this is, yeah, these are the ones I was thinking we were already at. But I think there was something on the table here that was kind of interesting. Oh, that was an iPhone case. No, nope, empty. Bugger. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was, this was kind of interesting. Inspiring leadership. Leading, engaging, inspiring. Yep, very inspiring stuff. Get a couple more rooms. Oh, there's the kitchen. I think it, there was a really funky smell in here, if I remember correctly. It was a really weird smell. I couldn't figure out what it was. It wasn't an unpleasant smell. It was just sort of funky. Maybe it was coming from there. But yeah, there was a funky smell in there, and I couldn't figure out what it was. Maybe just old coffee or something. But it was definitely had a funky smell in that kitchen. Oh, look at that blue. That's pretty. Look at those windows. Those windows are so cool. Nice big, nice big bay windows. At least you, you know you'd have plenty of light while you were working. Oh, this is sort of like a. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what that is. It looks like it's got sticky notes and stuff on it. Maybe a, some sort of scheduling chart or something like that. Oh yeah, that's right. There was this big smashed window there, and I, I'm not even sure where it was from, because all the windows were still there and everything. So yeah, there's this massive big smashed glass there, and no idea where it's from, because as you can see, all the windows were still intact. So another beautiful blue room, I guess, because it was Pears Ice Cream. A lot of their logo is very blue, so I guess a lot of them were blue. Another blue one. It was a pretty decent sized office actually. And this one had the carpet all ripped up. So I'm not really sure what, what the deal was with that. Alright, so I think that's that wing done. So I gingerly try not to step too much on the on that glass. 
And let's head over to the other wing and have a bit of a look. Alright, so at this point I could hear the grumpy pumpkin um, yelling and yelling about something. <laughs> I, I, I considered going and find, figuring out where it was. Yeah, I, th I think that's why I looked past, I looked around. But I, yeah, I considered going and seeing if he was alright, but I'm like, nah, he'll be fine. <laughs> and he was, so it's all good. Oh, that's a nice table. Look at that nice table. And, then there's, a door, and that, there's a door that leads out onto the balcony, so let's go and have a look out there. Yeah, big whiteboard with different explorers there. See, so that I don't mind. If there's a nice whiteboard, put your name on it, that's fine. It's when, when, they, when they put it on other stuff, like walls and stuff, that, you know, I'm not a big fan of, a big fan of that. But yeah, you can see that this, this walkway, or terrace or something, it was massive. It, led, it went down the entire length of the, of the building. So pretty cool stuff. Yeah, have a bit of a wander. Wander on into the next room. It's another room. Probably looks some sort of conference room or something like that. Keep walking along. So as you can see, it was a nice day. So we picked the right day to go exploring. So that was good. Have a bit of a look through here. Turn the light back on. There's an old switch there, as you can see in the top right. I think those were just empty rooms, if I remember correctly. I don't know, no, there was something in there. I think this was another toilet, I think. Yep, another toilet. Just a little one, that one. So this might have been maybe sort of like the, some of the higher-ups had their own bathroom. And then you got this massive big conference room. Look at that table. That table is so cool. You know, imagine playing like a board game or something on that, <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, they'll be used for conferences and stuff like that. Big conference room and with a massive big table on it. Very, very cool room, this one. This Actually, I think this is one of my favorite rooms in this part of the facility, so. So yeah, so nice big table there. You'd think they'd want to take something like that with them. Beautiful. Excuse me, I just. Oh, I'm an old man. <laughs> right, yeah, well, I think if this was some sort of dumbwaiter or something like that. Yeah, definitely a dumbwaiter. Well, we've found a few of those lately. Yep, there you go. Call, send. So definitely a dumbwaiter. Like that was an electronic one. I think we found a, a hand, a hand drawn um, dumbwaiter at some point. It's just a closet. I think there were some books at the bottom there. Oh no, just some signs. Good hygiene, wash your hands. Good, good, good choice. Another, another little kitchenette area. This one didn't have a funky spell in it. So that was good. This looks like a day room. You can put your, with a couple of lockers there and a couple of little tables there. So kitchen right next to it. So you'd assume that was like a day room. Again, nice big windows. Keep walking along. Maybe a, some sort of fire alarm or something. I'm not, I actually had no idea what that was. Oh yeah, this room. This room had a ton of stuff in it. They'd left. They'd left a bunch of stuff in here. So we're going to have a check that out in a minute. Another toilet. I had someone just put a chair over the toilet, I've, so I think someone <laughs> that might that toilet might not have been great. So someone's put a chair over it. But yeah, in this room there was a bunch of stuff. There's stuff in this room. I'm not sure why there was all this stuff in this room and every everywhere else there was, there wasn't a lot of like papers and stuff. So I don't remember there being a date. I see a tissue section. I don't think there was any sort of date on any of them, if I remember correctly. I think it was just random junk. 
stuff like that. So we'll have a bit of a look around, see if we can see anything. I don't remember there being anything. No, 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 no don't see anything. No, never mind. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, that's right. There was a calendar, <laughs> but I can't, I can't remember what the calendar was. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking around for a date and there was a calendar sitting right there. But unfortunately, at the time I could see it, but the light was shining on it too much. Oh, check out this, another big table. Look at the size of this table. That's even bigger than the other one. It's even got a hole in it for sort of like putting the, maybe some sort of conference thing in there. Oh, this room is so cool. And that's where we're going to end it, guys. So, so yeah, part two will be out next week. Um, I think we're just going to have a quick look at the window here to show you at the window. As you can see, that other place goes all the way along there. So that's going to be really cool. So thank you all for watching. Thank you to all the patrons and the YouTube subscribers. You guys are the absolute best. And, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.